Watching the Queen Mary with her 35-ton screw propellers take the water, it's hard to realize that the marine propeller is only 100 years old. This is the model of the screw that drove the Saucy Sally of Lewis in 1823. With the others, it's from the famous London Science Museum collection. It was turned by hand. This hand-worked screw was invented by William Littleton, a London merchant in 1794. In 1800, Edward Shorter contrived what he called a perpetual sculling machine, with blades like a windmill. Forty years later came Lowe's propeller, with four blades. Screws were beginning to take a turn for the better. Another ten years and the folding propeller was born. There were two blades cut into five short lengths, which could be folded to reduce resistance when sailing. In 1837, Francis Smith tried his first screw-propelled launch on the Paddington Canal. The screw struck on an obstacle and broke to this size, and the speed of the boat was increased. Then came the adjustable propeller. By a very simple arrangement on the connecting rod, the blades could be moved into any position while the engine was in motion. The Mallory screw combined the operations of propelling and steering. In 1876, a two-way propeller came to town. It consisted of two screws revolving in opposite directions. The Hewitt propeller was a large screw with four circular blades which could be adjusted in any direction and locked. It's a far cry from those early days to the propellers of today. Engineering marvels that turn speedboats into lightning flashes and their drivers into death-defying gods. With speed and more speed, the order of the day, the marine propeller will have to turn even faster. It may be screwy, but life is like that.